Hello, everybody. You should be able to hear me by now. I'm just waiting for me to yawn. Uh, there it is. I'm stifling it. Wait a minute. Uh, I managed to push it down pretty well. But man, I, it really is clockwork. Really is clockwork. Quite pathetically so. <laughs> well, it is Wednesday. So we're going to just stream for a little bit here. Do some artisanal works. Probably about an hour. That's my guess. Hours, hour seems to be the, the magic spot for me. That just seems to be just the amount right... Just the... Just the amount right of time. That's what I was starting to say because I'm a moron. But it seems to be just about the right amount of time. There we go. Uh, that works out for me streaming wise. So it lets me do enough work that I get stuff done. And of course I have to yawn 50 times. Sorry about that. I really am. I just do not understand that. I don't know what's what association caused that particular thing to happen, but it is what it is. But yeah, an hour seems to be the magic number for me. 60 minutes seems to be just about right. Okay, I have posted everywhere. So that's done off the bat, I'm happy to say. All right. All right. And uh, yeah, I have... Um, oh, let me move my keyboard while I'm waiting here to start. To start officially. To start actually drawing. I have a number of things that kind of, in the last few days, have, have come up um, that I'm, I'm going to be looking at. Uh, so I think what we're going to do for this, geez, I got, uh, this is the one bad thing. On the, on the one hand, it's good to be working on lots of things, to have lots of ideas. I like that. Okay, sorry. But the bad part is, I'm in the middle of like four things. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's just start up. Because this will be watched later, so... I don't need to wait. Oh, God, I really am sorry about that. Terrible. Terrible. I don't understand it. Okay. I'll switch it over here. So there's several things, as I said, I'm working on. Uh, let's start off with... I'm going to be doing Shodan from the System Shock series. So I've started this here. Very, very early on it, where it's just the pencils. But I'm, I'm, and I'm planning to do this on one of my magic cards on the back. So this is very, very early roughs, just kind of based on, I had this idea. I, I was thinking, who would I base it on? You know, who do I want to model the face on? And I immediately thought of Gina Gershon. I thought she was the perfect face to base this on. She has this very distinctive kind of facial shape and mouth. And I thought it would be good to base it. So, I mean, this is rough. I'm just starting, but you can see her mouth already. You can, like, see the shape of it. So, Shodan at some point will get done. Uh, and then, what else am I doing? Uh, Len Kavazinski, who I've done many shows with, is uh, possibly opening up a, a martial arts studio and wants me to do some sketch ideas. I don't, the head is all screwed up on this, so I have to fix the head. I know how to fix it. I just haven't yet. But it's going to be, uh, potentially, the name would be Iron Phoenix karate studio i think and so phoenix obviously right there i've got the little headband on there for the martial arts part and then iron in the chain and then there'll be lettering there that that's very early too and then i am continuing work on the the pc police ba based on digital foundries alex battalion now what did i what was i oh i was working on, i think i'm gonna work on this tonight because i'm kind of having fun with this one so this is just a gag image based on a, a video that, that was done over on Digital Foundry where they were talking about uh, the performance of a game. And there was this segment in the middle because it was wrestling based where Alex comes on and he's doing, you know, this thing where he's talking about CPUs and all that type of thing. And that got me to think, oh, that would be really funny on a shirt because everything I think of is like shirts and stickers and mugs and everything else. So I'm like, oh, that would be funny to have like a PC police sticker thing, you know, something like that. Like your, 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 your GPU is under arrest or whatever. So I've started working this up based on uh, one of the images from that, or a couple of images, really. Sorry for the yelling. You can tell by the way I'm talking. I'm not tired. I've got the energy. I just don't know why I keep friggin' yawning. It's really irritating me. Anyway, sorry. So I think I'm going to work on this one because I'm having a good time with this. So let me group these colors together. And so I can turn them off because I actually want to... All right, so we'll just call this Alex 
line work. I'll probably rename this later. That is not the word line work at all. Wow. Okay, there we go. All right, so that should turn that off, right? And then we'll turn off the blacks. We'll turn off the colors, and that just leaves us with the pencils. And there's what I want to work on today, which is the effectively the GPU. Where is that little thing coming from? Why is that not being blocked? If this is... Oh, is this not taking up the whole screen? It's not. There we go. That was That's supposed to be a filter. Okay. Turn off the colors. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get the grid up so that I can have straight lines. So let's use the 2D grid. Okay. And let's create a new layer on top of this one with a black. And uh, I think this pen is probably full. No, that pen's too thick. Let's go to this one. That'll work. Er, mm, that might be a little too. Let's go to 10. What does 10 look like? Yeah, 10 is good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the assist on for this. Oh, jeez. That's a bad place to have my cup of water. It's way too close to the computer. <laughs> Wasn't thinking there. All right. So let's go ahead and create first line here and I'm gonna go ahead and just to make this nice and easy I'm gonna go ahead and move this line over here because they are I mean there's in this case they should be symmetrical so let's see is that is that lined up let me take a look it's kind of tough to tell yep there we go okay so then we will create another line. We'll put the assist layer. I can go ahead and spam that down because those are not going to move. Let's go ahead and I'm going to drop the opacity a bit on this. And on this assist layer, this is the tricky bit because I can't zoom in too much. Which, well, yeah, I can't really. So let's see. Oh, no. I can tell that's off just looking at it. Ooh, might have gotten it with that, though. Wow. Unbelievable. I can't believe I did it that well without being able to see it. That's a miracle right there. So rather than tempt fate, let's go ahead and duplicate that. We're going to move it down. I really cannot believe. That's not me trying to act like I did something really spectacular. But for me, I did because normally I can't do stuff that well. Not, not like that. I mean, to get those lines without being able to see it, I usually end up having to do those lines five or six times. So I'm going to take that... Uh, I'm going to take that little gift and I'm going to run with it. So now let's do the bottom of the GPU cards. And again, I just want to keep everything, because this is a, a piece of hardware, so I want to keep this all pretty, whoa, even here. So we'll just do that. And then we'll do the same thing. I'm not going to worry too much here. I'll do this. And we'll do this. I'm not going to worry too much about, because I have to essentially do that. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Okay. Then we'll do this going here, and I'll round that off. Let's see. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Okay, wow. Not bad. I mean, this is... I am thoroughly pleased at how not badly this is going. Which is probably kiss of death type stuff. You never say that. But, uh, you know. I did, so what am I going to do? All right, let's loop. Ooh, no. See, that's why, that's why you don't say that. Loop that like that. That does not look terrible. Amazing. Amazing. I should play the lottery because this is not looking that bad. It really isn't. Not compared to what I thought it was going to look like. I mean, I thought I was going to have to do this a bunch of times. Because normally I do have to do this a bunch of times. I'm usually not able to get the lines quite that clean. Uh, okay, now this is going to be tricky. This is going to be a tricky bit. So I'm actually going to drop the line work down to, let's say, 7 maybe? Yeah, let's go to seven. This is going to be an interesting thing to try to do. Well, you know what? I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to start like this. Because I was thinking that I might do two of them and then do rotations on them. But you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to do them by hand. You know, there's, there's a, there is something to be said for just allowing things to have flaws and not chasing perfection and everything. So I'm not going to worry if these all aren't identical, which I really do get. I get very hung up on that. 
and it's it's a negative thing. I mean, I, I know it is. I don't even have to think about it. It's a negative trait to to get hung up because you know if if I'm if I'm going to create an image and and try to strive to make it a perfect image, like a perfect representation, then I might as well just get it generated by AI. I might as well just fire up a machine model and say create this thing for me because then there's nothing of me in it. You know, the flaws are what make it unique to me. Now, don't get me wrong. There is, of course, a limit to that. I'm not going to do that and say, oh, yeah, the flaw is fine. No, I'm not going to do that. I am going to try to make it look close. But a lot of times, I, you know, like I just duplicated those lines because I wanted them to be even. Because that stuff, I think, sticks out more than something like this will. Um, and I will replicate this just so I don't have to draw every single one of these. But... I'm not going to worry about the fact that you can see that they're slightly different. I'm, I'm not going to get concerned about that. I could. I could drive myself crazy. I'm not going to. I'm just going to go with this. Now, this circle might not quite be right because, unfortunately, one thing that's kind of tough to do is to not obscure it with my hand. But still, look, you know, that, man, I, I love the fact that this thing has a circle tool. That circle would be so bad if I left it the way it was. I mean, I, I, w before this stuff, I remember trying to draw circles and on certain scales I can do it, but other ones, especially one like this where I have to have, a, there's no way. I do, I'm sure there are people in the world who have that steady at hand. I am not, not one of them. So to be able to take this thing, this, this, the Procreate app and take, oh boy, that's a, that's a real squiggly and be able to smooth out what I just did there on the right side. That's amazing. That's why I say, you know, I, I do, I, I do feel like we are in a golden age of content creation because there's so much stuff you can do now. There's so much stuff that would never have been possible before. It's just crazy to think about. It really is. I have a, a show, an interview coming up call it interview it's not really an interview i i can't really call myself any type of interviewer but it's an interview style show i'll say that with somebody from over on the the twit network and if you don't know what that is it's a technology-based uh, network where they do different shows on things like you know the mac and pc and that type of thing and one of the individuals on there is going to be very kind to stop by stop by it's so funny how you use the you use terminology that doesn't really actually make any sense in the virtual world, but is going to come on to my show. I've already had uh, one of the people who works over there, uh, Ant Pruitt, who is a really great guy and ran a photography show on that network until very recently. And he was uh, nice enough to come. Oh, you know, let me do this really quick. He came on the show. Oh boy, it's, it's a while ago now. It's so weird. I, I've lost so, so much track of time. I have really no sense of time anymore. But he was on a while ago and uh, had a great time. And so one of the other hosts that's on the network, ooh, that's too big a brush, is going to be coming on. And where was I going with that? Oh, and he's, he's doing, he's in the early stages of workshopping a, what they're calling an AI show, which, you know, Anybody who's paid attention for a few times. Hello, Mordai123. Hello, good evening. Or morning. Or late night, depending on where you are. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello. Because there are people who stop by and they don't say hi, which is fine. I don't really care. But it's unusual that somebody says hello, so hello. So yeah, he's doing a... A... Well, what I'm going to appropriately call a large machine model show because it's not AI. You know, that term keeps getting thrown around. It is meaningless because there is no actual intelligence to these things, at least not intelligence the way most people would think of the term. All right. So, yeah, he'll be coming by. And, and he's about, he's in the same, I believe, general age bracket as I am. I am a rebranded, a rebranded. That's a good term for it. Well, congratulations on the relaunch of your new brand. A rebranded. I do like that. I used to do that years and years. 
Oh, yeah. See, and that's why I'm always kind of, I always say, whatever time it is where you are, Saigon, man. I, I don't know where most people come to the stream from when they stop by. So I don't know if that's common or not. But um, that's great. Uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, saying hello before breakfast. Well, I hope you have a wonderful breakfast. I can eat breakfast food all day. I'm one of those type of people. I can eat breakfast food for every meal and never have a problem because I, I mean breakfast food is just fantastic. I love it. So I envy you because I'm not having breakfast for dinner tonight because my wife's not quite as big on that concept as I am, which is fine, but I could do it real easy. Real easy. Well, this GPU card went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. I mean, I think it was going to be impossible or anything. I just didn't think it was going to go quite that smoothly. So, uh, yeah, it came out well. I think. Looks all right. I might do a little bit of a contour in the center just to give it a little, something a little different here. So let's give it a symmetrical thing. Can we do it by... I do wish you could do degrees on that. That would be nice. But that's okay. Not a huge deal. Let's drop the brush size down a bit more because I'm going to do some little detail stuff. Uh, just out of curiosity, you don't have to answer this if you're not comfortable doing it, but do you live in Saigon or are you just visiting there? I'm sorry if you heard my phone in the background. Uh, yeah, that's hysterical. Saigon is a place I have never been. But oh, I'm sorry, my phone was going off. Oh, that's in Vietnam. I thought so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there going, I should know where v I should know where Saigon is. I, I am terrible, terrible, terrible with geography. I mean, bad with geography. So I don't know where nearly anything is. So it, it really shouldn't be all that surprising that I to myself that I don't know. I didn't know off. Uh, offhand where Saigon was, but yeah, Vietnam. You know, I just realized I didn't quite, I need to look at something. Um, I need to look at a quick image of a graphics card because I want to see something on the actual fans. I want to see how the shading works because I'd like to do that. It's actually more difficult to find a good picture of a GPU with the fans exposed facing forward than you might think. It's actually tougher. Sorry, I hiccuped right in the middle of saying that. All right, well, it helps if I spell graphics card right. Yeah, they're all at angles. There's very few of them where they're facing straight forward. Uh, I'm trying to find one. I just need one good one that shows a little bit of the shape. Oh, oh, man. I found that the this is based on an image I found. Oh, here it is. All right, what is the... Okay, so... Oh, that's how it is. Okay, got it. So let's do that. Let's do another layer where I'm going to... Oh, this is an empty layer. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it like that. Now, eh, no, I won't. I was going to say I might rotate this one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to worry about it. That. 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 Jeez, those, look, those look really even. I'm trying to make them uneven like that. Where it's got like a little bit of an arc to it. That's better. Yeah, some of these are really even. Um, let me see. I don't want them to be that even. I'd like them to have some motion to them. Actually, okay, that one looks bad. Get rid of that one. That one looks bad. That one looks bad. That one looks bad. Okay, so it's more than I thought. Okay, there we go. That's where I started to get it. So like that. That's okay. And that. That's okay. And that. That's fine. That. And that. There we go. Those have some motion to them. That's what I wanted. I just didn't want them to be kind of all straight. That would make no sense. So let's just erase that. And then I'll move these into the other spots because they're perfectly fine for that. Saigon. That's really neat. I really appreciate that, that you said hello and that you're in Saigon. It's just nice. It's just neat to think that people find you from all over. It's one of the things I really love about the internet. I mean, you know, I've said a variation on this many times, but as bad as it can be, there's also those little moments that are really great that kind of make up for 
not all the badness. Can't make up for everything. Really can't, but it's neat to think of somebody in a completely different country. I have no idea how you found this channel. Doesn't matter. However you found it, I appreciate it. But it's such a neat thing to me. I have not lost my optimism for the the internet and what it can be yet. I know a lot of people have. And I understand it. I understand it. It, it can be it can be hard to ignore the ugliness a lot of times, and there is a lot of it. Can't pretend there isn't. But at the same time, at the same time, somebody in Saigon is watching my channel and said hello before breakfast. So as bad as it can be, it ain't all that bad. Okay, so now, got those. So those came out all right. Merge down, merge down. Okay, so let's do... What's that? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave those. Okay. So let's do this. Let's put an assist on this, but I got to change what the assist is. I want to go back to the 2D grid. Actually, I'm going to make the 2D grid smaller. There we go. I'll make it pretty small. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let's turn the assist on. Let's get the brush to be smaller. Let's drop it down to a actually a five for the line going across. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Okay. And we'll just do some lines coming down. I'm not even going to worry about spacing them. I was going to try to make them all even, but why? 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 What does it what does it really matter for an image like this? Is it going to make any real difference? It's not. You know, this is supposed to be fun. I tell I say that, right? That, you know, don't strive to Okay, well, those are a little too uneven though for me. As usual, contradicting my own statement from literally 5 seconds before. But they don't all have to be evenly spaced, but they can't look grossly out of whack. And you can usually tell. I mean, you can you can eyeball a lot of this stuff. It does not require you to really measure anything or really be aware. You can you can tell if things don't quite line up correctly, and you can fix them. And if they don't, you don't have to. Now that I now that I said that, I'm not even going to bother. Okay, not that one. That's too thin. I don't want it to be too. You know, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly okay. I don't actually know if these lines exist on this part of the card. I didn't look that close. I also don't care. I don't really care that much perfectly okay it can be interpretive whoa oh no oh yeah because i made it the same line i wasn't even thinking well you know what there's an easy way to fix that real easy watch this now you fix something stupid like that now you can't see what i did yet oh wait a minute did i Hold on. Wait a minute. What did I just do? Oh, just, I didn't draw it. Oh, I had the eraser on. I, I erased it. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to demonstrate is that I could just do that. Of course, you know, I did it utterly badly as I usually do. There we are. There we are. Then, all we got to do is come to this, and we just erase the top, and that part, obviously. Okay. Oop, and that will fix my error. There we are. There we are. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And there we are. So there we got the video card. I'm going to do one other thing, which I'm going to add one more layer. I'm going to bring this to become symmetry again. And we're going to do a wavy line, just because a lot of these cards have designs to them. So just something like that. And it's good that I'm having it inside the fans. 
Actually, I don't like those. They're too spread out. Hold on. There we are. Because a lot of these, they just barely are outside the thing. Chop that off. Chop that off. I'm going to be careful with this because they may not be quite even for this type of thing. Because the lines aren't exactly 100% even. So let's go ahead and turn the assist off. We'll clean that up. We'll clean this up. Okay. And this is one of those things where this graphics card, I'm using it for this particular thing. But I could become an image for something else at some point. You know, very easily could see myself reusing this for something else. And it would not be a big deal. Alright, let's see here. Okay. You know, I think I have to cough. I'm going to cover this. Oof. Yeah. My wife has been sick for a little over a week. Not COVID. At least not according to the... The testing so far has not shown it to be COVID, so hoping it isn't, but she's had a pretty nasty cough, so I'm, I'm just dreading getting it because I'm I'm sure I'm going to. That's just the nature of how this works. You know, I'm not going to sit in a different room from her or any of that type of thing. I just don't want to do that. So I just keep waiting to start coughing and have it be a cough like hers where I'm like, oh, okay, I guess it's time for me to have this now. Because I, don't, I, don't, I do not believe it is COVID at all. Because, again, the testing has been negative. But even not as COVID, it doesn't seem like it's any fun. Um, so I don't want whatever it is. But, you know. If it happens, it happens. Nothing you can do about it. All right, let's... Ah, no, I, was trying to, I was trying to zoom in on the canvas. Oh, you know what? You don't do that. Turn that, turn that. Okay, now it's centered. There we go. So that's the first video card. And we will do a duplicate and we will do a 30 degree angle. Oh, sorry, minus. And there's the other one. And that's kind of what I wanted. I mean, I'm gonna, I, I obviously will fix the, you know, the, the overlap of it. Okay, so we've got the cards. I think the easiest way is just to I think I'll just erase this one. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Oh, okay, I erased way too much for that. I just need to erase it with, in fact, here, let's do this. Let's do it the smart way. Let's just erase the stuff we have to erase. And nothing else. Moron that I am. You know, let's, don't, don't erase things unless you have a guide. Now, of course, technically I could mask this off but since I have that other image, I have the kind of the vanilla image in the background there. I don't care that much. It's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and ride this out by erasing. Because if I need another one, I can get another one created in about two seconds. So why not just... Oh, man, I'm going to cough again. Hold on. Whew. Those do not feel like sick coughs, really. They feel like just dry, because it's been hot. Like many places on the Earth, it has been hot in California. Today's not so bad, but it's not exactly cool out. I'll say it like that. Let me get a drink of water really quick. Oh, I see. Did I miss a line? Hold on. Ugh. We'll see if that helps. Although, like I said... I am just waiting for the sickness to hit me, so who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's bring the line work back in. There's our line. Oh, I do have to erase. Oh, no, that's going to be in front of him. So now what I will do is wherever his necklines are, I am going to mask this. In case I need this again. Yeah, yeah. Is it anything I care about? <coughs> oh, man. Now I feel like I am, like, compelled to cough. Like, I'm compulsively coughing, because now it's kind of coming out of nowhere. So maybe, maybe I did not dodge it after all. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say after all. I, yeah, I have to cough. Hold on. Oh, man. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. So, 
this could be the beginning. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to complain. You know, it's, it's, it, as I said, her, her, uh, the COVID test came back as a negative. So this may just be, you know, I mean, may just be some normal illness. It seems to be with her. I mean, don't get me wrong. She is certainly not thrilled to be coughing as much as she is, but. Oh, did I erase? No, I did a mask. I'm going to do a mask with this too. Just, just, I think it's a good idea. But, um, yeah, I mean, I just suddenly have to cough a lot. So I'm like, uh, okay. Is that something or is that nothing? I'm hoping it's nothing. Truly hoping it's nothing. But you never know. The world may never know. Okay, a little much there. There we go. So we'll see. Could also just be a coughing spell. I had that a few weeks ago where I was... I just started coughing. Um, and it never went any further. There was nothing else to it, but I was I was coughing for a while. Okay, where is that GPU? There it is. I wonder if... Well, the GPUs should... Should be on top of everything else anyway. So, where'd that group go? Oh, no. What did I do? Yeah, there we go. Ah, I see what I did. Group. There we go. These should be on top of the line work anyway, because uh, we'll just say GPUs. Quick time check. Jeez, it's already, it's been 40 minutes? Wow. Man. I did not think that much time had gone by. Okay, now GPUs, the only problem with GPUs, well, not the only problem, but a problem. Actually, let me color, let me finish doing his ears, because I need to do the shadow areas, the deep shadow areas of the ear. Yeah, switch to the bigger brush. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to... Oh, that's over that? Why did I think that was... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, well, hold on. i got to be a little more careful. I have to be a little bit more judicious, as the word goes, than I would be if it was underneath. Yeah, see, I can feel the cough coming out again. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Nope, I don't want to cough into the mic. Hold on. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's put it this way. If there's not a stream next week, it's probably because I'm sick. Because for how much she was coughing, if I get even a, a, a little of that, there's no way I'm going to... Oh, this was on assisted. I didn't realize that. There is no way I'll make it through a stream coughing that much, and I and I wouldn't want to because you're just gonna you would just hear that. I mean that would be that would be horrible if I were to do that. I would not subject anybody to that. So it may be if I am not on a stream if I don't stream next week, then that likely means that I have whatever my wife is currently fighting with. I actually did feel bad because she. She really didn't sleep well last night because the cough just kept waking her up. Well, not even the cough, but she said it was she was kind of, it was like a thick cough, so she was she was feeling like she was drowning or something. So she kept waking up, which is terrible. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it's really really bad. Um, so I did. I felt terrible that she didn't sleep that well. Let me look at one of these GPUs really quick and take a look at. <clears throat> Yeah, they're all just basically grays. Kind of boring, really. Ooh, not the ATI ones. Those have some reds. Ooh, that's nice. You know what? I'm going to use a... Yeah, I'm going to go with the ATI card. That's got a nice red. It's just so boring otherwise. If I just use gray on it, there's nothing to that. So let's let's use a neat color instead. Let's put some color in here. As Bob Ross would say, let's, let's put some color in. I mean, I'm going to have to use color with the explosion, but I can lean more towards or explosions, but I will lean more towards uh, oranges with that. Yeah, yeah, this is this is I definitely would rather have some color in this thing than just make it a gray graphics card, which a lot of them are. It's it is, it is an accurate kind of reflection of a lot of the cards. A lot of them are very boring. I'm doing this very quickly and sloppily. Because I could just clean it up with an, uh, with an uh, uh, eraser. It's still going to be gray in the middle, which sucks. 
I mean, I could. I, eh, it's fine. It's it's fine. It's not that big a deal. It's just. It's a shame the graphics. I mean, I guess it's because you don't. Really, a lot of people you don't ever look at them. They're just sitting in the the machine, so they don't necessarily command the attention of other things. I mean, I have a clear door on mine, so I can see. But it's facing down, so I even if this color that I'm doing here is what color my GPU was, I wouldn't be able to see it really because it's facing down most of the time, or not most of the time, all the time it's in the machine. So, really happy with this main gear machine that I got. I'm really, really happy with it. I like it. I got a front plate that has my illustration logo on it, which I just love. I'm looking at it right now. God, I love that thing. It's so nice looking. Not a cheap computer, not something everybody can necessarily afford, but if you can, it's a good machine. But honestly, at this uh, computer doing that, I would have had to spend a lot more if I was going to get a what what would be for for those who are hardcore gamers, what they would call a real rig would would really have run me. This machine does exactly what I needed to. It's a good Photoshop machine. It plays games. Not my terrible, so it's not like I'd really be able to see it anyhow. So I'm not so upset about that. There are people who get really hung up on that stuff. I don't really. You know, a lot of times I've looked close at a lot of, and I know there's people who are going to, people who will hear this in there. Their mouths will drop open in a aghast reaction to the fact that I'm going to say this. I don't notice it a lot of the time. I've looked at different resolutions, and honestly, sometimes, not even sometimes, a lot of times, I can't tell. I just can't tell. You know, I'll look at a 4K. I, I've had games where, just while the character is standing still, I'll switch the resolution, and I'll look at it, and I'll be like, um, okay, well... You know, I guess if I get my face right up to the screen, and I look at the surface of... A rock or something maybe I can tell but that's not generally how I play games I'm usually not s smashed up with my eyes literally two inches from the the monitor's surface not how I play games so none of that stuff really benefits me the frame rate does the frame rate I, I really notice that some people don't my co-host Lando does not really care about frame rate you know he doesn't he doesn't notice it I, and I I no reason to think he's lying because I've had him switch it on and off and he'll be and he'll say I, I don't know what what is the difference what am I what am I not seeing here and I'll be like okay never mind turn it back on or turn turn the turn the quality mode back on you don't need for you, you obviously will not get anything out of performance mode perfectly fine like I said people are attuned to different things in their entertainment so for him the quality of the graphics are the more important thing. And I could sit there and try to argue with him as to why, you know, he should prioritize frame rate. But why would I do that? Why would I waste my time convincing somebody to appreciate something that, you know, because eventually if he's smart, he'll just say, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. How am I ever going to know that he actually sees it? You know, it's one of the odd things about people I find. Is there are people who so badly want you to, to say that you see something their way? In the end, they have no way of knowing whether you actually see it that way. You know what I mean? They don't know what's actually going on inside your head. You can sit there and agree with them all day. And the second that they're out of your eye line, you sit there and go, Wow, oh, God, I could agree with more. They're never going to. They're never going to know. It's not going to hurt them. So it's a big waste of time. Trying to convince people of things most most of the time I find is just a waste of good energy. Because most people just don't want to think anything other than what they think. And so long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, you know what? Let them. As long as it's not hurting anybody else, let them think whatever they want about whatever they want for however long they want to. Because you'll end up putting more energy in trying to convince them otherwise than you're going to get out of it if they do if they change their mind. And it's pretty rare when people do that. Just tell you, it's a rarity. Which is not to say I, I don't 
see the value in discussing things with people. I do, but there's, you know, we all know people like this. There's people who you can have a discussion with and you can tell that they're actually open to listening to what you're saying and they, they absorb it and think about it and consider it. That's great. That's great. I, I wish that happened more. I truly do. Most of the time, I think most people don't want to be bothered to think about or not to be bothered to think, but they just want to stick with what they believe and that's all they want. And like I said, if there's no harm involved, I can't even blame people for that. You know? Most people have enough crap to deal with without having to sit there and consider every aspect of everything in life. Plus, it's depressing a lot of times. So it's very compelling to just be like, eh, you know what? I'm not going to bother. Ah. 46 minutes, okay. You know? I get it. Can't fu- <laughs> My dog just popped up thinking she heard something. I don't think she actually heard anything. She does that. If there's a car that closes a door across the street, she pops up and thinks somebody's here to see her. I don't think anybody's here, cutie. Let me check. Let me do a quick look. I can tell you by just looking at one of the cameras, but I'm pretty sure nobody's here. I think she just heard traffic. But let's find out. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, nobody's here. Sorry, cutie, nobody's here. There's nobody here. I knew there was nobody here. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not so far that I wouldn't hear if there was some kind of actual noise. There was a car accident not, was it a week ago? Last week, maybe? A week before? So there was a car accident. So they're, they're definitely... Because we live on a relatively busy street. Um, so, you know, it's not impossible that there would be something, but I had I, I would have heard that, I'm pretty sure. And I didn't hear anything. So my dog's just reacting to nothing. That's okay. Doesn't bother me. It's just kind of funny when she pops in and goes, because she is no kind of guard dog. She might bark at somebody, but she would never get close to him. And that's all right. I didn't. We we knew we weren't getting a guard dog with her. We really didn't want a guard dog. That's what we have locks and cameras for. We don't need a guard dog. We just want a sweet dog that, well, she's not really all that affectionate either. Unfortunately, that's one thing that's very common among, among dogs. You get this idea that they're all very friendly, and some of them are. Our last dog was. Our last dog loved to just get up on the couch and lay on me like I was like I was a couch myself. And I always was entertained by that. She was a, a goofy dog, but a good dog. But this one is less this one's more inclined to want to play tug of war than to cuddle up with you on the on the floor or anything. She wants to fight. She wants to rumble. That's fine. She's my buddy. So I don't care. Huh. I don't know where she went. Standing at the door for the non-existent visitor. I'm sure. Like I said, a lot of traffic, so I'm not surprised. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's go ahead. and We're going to use a gray. I'm just going to go ahead and lay in a gray in the background here. We'll do something like that. Uh, we'll put the gl the, the glay. I was about to say, we're going to put the glay. I don't know where I was getting that word from. Let's just put some dark gray in here. Oh, yeah, that'll work. That'll be fine. Not the most dynamic looking thing, but it's not really supposed to be. I mean, it's not it's not about the, the graphics cards. It'll serve the purpose. Yeah, and at least I'm covering up. Cover the explosions there. Okay. that. Okay. okay. Rebranded. I do like that. I just reread that comment. I am rebranded. I like that. I find that amusing. Okay, let's... I missed a thing here. Let's get that. There we go. Let's go back to this. Reband. Re not rebanded. Rebranded. Eesh. My continuing lack of command of the English language. There we are. 
I'm gonna make that something else. That's not gonna be gray down there. Okay. Okay. Getting there. We're getting there. Let's do. Where's the explosion? Oh, I didn't put the explosion separately. No, I most certainly did not. Okay, well, that's fine. So let's go ahead and do this. Actually, this can go behind all the other colors. It really doesn't matter. Let's get a nice uh, bright orange there, which may change, but for now, we're just going to lay in some orange for the explosion. The nice part is I can always go in here later and adjust this. So if I don't like this color, it's going to be very easy to change it because it's on its own layer. I can just go with the hue and saturation, fix it. I got to fix it. I got to get this hat filled in, which I will. I will get the hat done. Okay, now we've got the explosion happening there. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, the hat's going to be easy to color because I think that's just going to be a dark navy color. I do have to remember to do the badge. I haven't done the badge yet on the hat, but I will. I haven't quite figured out what I want the text to say. It might say PC police or, you know, something. Something. I'll figure it out. All right, let's just get that. Okay, so we got the oranges laid in. Very nice. Yeah, we'll go ahead and erase this just to keep it somewhat clean. It doesn't actually make any difference because the hat color is going to go over it anyway. But just because I'm me, I like to have it better. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's lay in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the hat. Gonna make the hat like a navy, a deep navy kind of blue, like that, maybe. Let's see. Let me lay in a little bit more blue. Like okay, there we go. So that'll be the underlying color. Oh yeah. That's it. Well, actually, what I should do, if I'm, if I'm gonna do this intelligently, let's turn this back on. Let's just do this the right way, which is to layer it in. Okay, so we'll just do something like that. Because these are going to be the darker areas. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That should be... should turn on the drawing assist for that. Okay. Let's swoop that up. That doesn't matter so much. Um, okay, so that's all dark. Got it. Okay. Let's go ahead and erase the edges on that. Some of the edges on that. i got to look up what his hair color is. I think it's just black, but i got to look it up. Would like to get that correct. Those will be gold. The buttons or whatever those things are on a hat. Okay. Turn that off. Off, I said. Thank you. Clean that up. Oh, shut up. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go one layer under that, and we're going to lighten this up a bit, so we'll do that. And let's brighten it. There we go. Add a little saturation. Come on, saturation slider. There we go. Okay. Let's zoom in. Let's take... Oh, I'm going to do that. Let's get that color. There we are. Let's get the big brush, because this is a big open area. Oh, yeah. And with a brush like this, I really don't care that I forgot to turn drawing assist on because this is not going to take long. Because this is a big brush. Okay. Whoop. Look at that. Okay. And I'm going to, obviously, that'll get covered by the darker stuff. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to get the general areas in. There we are. And that's thick enough. I can run right around that. Whoop. There. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. And we are approaching. 
end of the stream as well, because I can feel that the iPad is heating up. That is another indicator. That's why another good reason to start for now. Because, I mean, what am I going to do? I, I, everything is on the iPad. I can't just... I'm not just going to stop for, you know, 20 minutes and let it cool off or throw it in the fridge. I'm not going to do that. But these are good, these are good amounts of time. I mean, I re this one flew by, to be honest. I, this one went right by. Which, I mean, they're never, they're never, I would never call any of the streams terrible in terms of being too long or anything. But there are ones where I kind of noticed the time more. But this one I barely did. I'm also kind of, knock on wood, happy that the cough hasn't come back. I don't mean I only coughed maybe six times, but still, when 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 the person you live with is sick, you're just waiting. So I'm not, you know, somehow imagining I'm going to dodge this. I, you know, she's tried to. I mean, how much can you really keep away from somebody in the same house? You can't. I'm not gonna make her sleep in another room or anything like that. I'm not doing that. I didn't do that when we both had COVID. I'm not doing it for something that, so far as we can tell, isn't COVID. So I'm certainly not going to do it now. I just, you know, it's one of those things where, no, nah, you, you know, I don't do that. I don't buy into that. It's just not in my nature to do stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, let's do this real gently in here. Go to that one. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's fill that in. Okay, I gotta do the same thing right here. Where I fill in that lighter color. Okay. And since we're right here, we'll do this. Okay, come on, there we go. Ooh, it's good size, good size. Imagine that brush size just right. Of course, just like everything else, if I look at this color later and don't like it, it's very, very, very simple to just adjust it. That's what that's what makes digital really nice. I like doing the physical stuff too. I've been having fun doing the card backs as well. And I'm doing a pair of sneakers for somebody, which I just I never think that looks good. I'm sorry, I just don't think it looks good. But But when somebody asks you to do something, you do it even if you don't yourself like the way it looks doesn't help that they're Disney sneakers too and I really don't have any great affection for Disney anything so but that's okay like I said it's, it's one of those things where you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it because somebody was very nice and asked you to and appreciates the fact that you have an ability so what am I going to do what am I going to do complain about it come on but yeah it's, it's kind of the whole thing with sneakers is very similar to, and some people will be too young to really remember this, because I don't think it happens a tremendous amount anymore, but it used to be very common to see jackets that were airbrushed. I mean, that was, when I was younger, that was everywhere, and I gotta tell you, it never looked good. I mean, it never, never looked good. It always looked exactly like what you would expect which was, and, and that's not even meant to be a critique of the, the person doing the airbrushing. In many cases, it was really good artwork. It just never looked good on jackets. It just doesn't. You can, you can do it on something like a van. I've seen vans that have, you know, like Conan and fantasy-inspired artwork that's airbrushed on them. Those look good a lot of times. Not all the time. Obviously, you still have to have talent. You can't just airbrush something and it's guaranteed to look good if you not don't know what you're doing. But a lot of those actually look good. To the point where I'd be like, yeah, if I had a van, I'd probably do that. Because that looks pretty that looks pretty rad. But a lot of it doesn't. Or, or sorry, but a lot of the clothing ones do not. I mean I, I really am struggling. I'm sitting here trying to think if I ever remember when I was younger seeing somebody who had an airbrush jacket of any kind and I ever thought it looked good, because I really don't think I did. I'm coming up empty. I don't think I ever... I mean, I knew people who had airbrushed coats. I mean, even airbrushed... There were people who had airbrushed pants, and even that looked better. 
but the the jackets and they were you know they were very often jean jackets which is just, just going to be hard to make that look good and some people had it on leather oh just didn't look good it just just does not sorry if you have one you know whatever and do, do whatever style suits you but i i just can't get behind that airbrush denim jackets i mean if you want to if you want to be rocking the late 80s early 90s as hard as possible that is a fast route so if you're if that's your goal if you want to scream like i said very late 80s 90s because i don't think airbrush oh no i mean it was in the 80s i think there was that stuff in the 80s too but if that's your goal that's that's a path i'll just tell you that's a path okay you know what let's do we're right at about the 57 minute mark so let's go ahead i'm gonna do red on actually no i'm gonna do gray on those i'm gonna do gray on if i can find it is that the gray that's the gray let's get the gray brush let's get this thing just so i can get in the tight areas here is that over oh it's under oh good okay all right, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and color this in. Hold on, I'm just doing this real quick. And then I think we're just about done here. Okay, oh, I have missed a spot. Let me get that on the red. All right. Oh, went a little over, I can see it just a tad there we go and then one other color which is going to be almost like a gold kind of like that for the actual what do you call them? the the circuit the, the the parts of the board that actually connect you'll see I'm, this part the part that's white here oh did i forget to erase something i did i did that part i forgot to erase right there all right, let's get this done. Because I also have to feed my dog, who I just heard get up to come stare at me. Oh, I'm right on time. There she is, giving me the look. Okay. Uh, you want me to starve over here? Because that's what's going to happen. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's good. Oh, and, and the thing. <sighs> Hold on. Sorry. Let me get it back just so you can see it as I finish the stream here. One second. Should come back. <sighs> Unbelievable. Of course it does it at the end. Well, I don't think you missed much. You'll see it in a second. And come on. There we go. Oh, right. Of course, it doesn't remember this anymore. Hold on. Let me do this, this, this. Leave off. So that's where we are for this evening with our PC police officer. So thank you, rebranded I am Bodie for stopping by. I uh, hope you had a wonderful breakfast. I'm assuming you've eaten by now. If not, then I hope you do have a wonderful breakfast. Everybody else, whenever you watch this, thank you for sticking around as I mumble and doodle about stuff like this. And let me do this here. Yeah. So since we just had somebody on the stream who very demonstrated that it could be a different time zone wherever you are wherever you are whatever time it is i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening late night or very very early day try to go out there and do something creative or at least experience watching this stream i am very very happy that you've chosen this to be your creative voyeurship i guess and yeah so we'll depending on i feel fine now so maybe that was just a false alarm earlier we'll see if it's not i won't be back next week otherwise i'll plan to be streaming again next week so as always thank you for stopping by whether it is live or later on in a replay on my youtube channel i don't care either way i appreciate you stopping by in whatever form you do try to be creative or at least experience a little bit of creativity thanks for stopping by the stream and take care